Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. So plastic surgery is a pretty big thing in Asia and among Asians. And nowadays, a lot of people in Asia are going under the knife to look like just another K-pop star or their favorite actress. And all that is pretty much getting out of hand with parents in Korea even putting away a plastic surgery fund for their kids when they're little. But that's a whole other story and we'll talk about that some other time. Anyway, the, the reason I'm talking about plastic surgery is because a woman in China has found a, another use for plastic surgery to escape Debt. According to Reuters, in order to escape a debt of 25 million yuan, or close to $4 million, a 59-year-old woman from the central Chinese city of Wuhan named Zhu Nanjun fled to Shenzhen, and when police finally caught up with her, they were really shocked to, to see that instead of a 59-year-old woman, Zhu Nanjun had turned herself via plastic surgery into someone who looked more like she was in her 30s. According to China's state-run Xinhua news agency, the police were astonished and said, we were very surprised at the scene. She looked in her 30s and was different from the photos we had. So you know when I saw this story? I mean, I was shocked, but but the first thing that popped into my head was that this is really not a bad idea, right? I mean, if you're a criminal and you ran up a lot of debt and you want to run away somewhere where no one will recognize you, I mean, there are so many people in China and we all have black hair, we have similar builds, and if you change your face, you'd be really hard to find. So I'm actually really surprised that the cops actually found her. I even made a joke in the past with my friends that if I ever commit a crime, not, not that I ever would. I don't think I could ever embrace the criminal life, you know? But let's say I was like wrongly convicted or something and I was about to be sent to prison and there's absolutely no way for me to somehow get outside of the US. You know what I would do? I'd just go hide in Chinatown. Maybe shave my head, grow a beard and, and just live in some Chinatown housing community. I think I'd be really hard to find. But anyway, all jokes aside, this news actually foreshadows a much bigger problem. China's debt crisis. So here's what's going on. China is trying to become more of a credit society. But the thing is, this is a relatively new concept to Chinese people. Now, getting a personal loan for a car or a house, that sounds pretty everyday here in the US. But in China, this only became available in 2014 after the Chinese government opened up regulations on personal finance. And when that happened, it opened up a whole new market for really easy to get, but very, very expensive loans. This was very bad for China because most Chinese never even used a credit card and now they can easily take out loans, but at ridiculous rates like 36%. And the thing is, people don't even have to go to banks to get these loans. These things are offered everywhere. For example, people hoping to get, let's say, the newest smartphone. And literally while you're waiting in line to pay, there's people offering you personal loans on the spot with the promise of a really small upfront payment. So in these cases, people are buying more expensive models of phones because yeah, they don't have to put down that much money. Of course, when you do this a lot, it becomes a huge problem. And now just a few years later, household debt, which is estimated to have reached around 50% of gross domestic product last year, more than doubled in less than a decade. Also, what's really scary is that until recently, China doesn't even have its own credit rating system. So imagine a society with personal loans offered everywhere, super high interest, and really no way to measure whether a person is likely to pay the loan back or not. No wonder people are changing their faces to run away from their debt. And this is not the only thing people are doing. There's, there's another report of a father who couldn't pay back his debt and resorted to selling his son online. And now Chinese courts are figuring out ways to, to, to better enforce loan payments. So this problem is really getting much worse before it can get any better. Oh, also the kicker is the woman who had her plastic surgery, yeah, she paid for the plastic surgery via credit. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.